Right, people, what are you telling me? I'm back in the building and you got to understand, I'm always I'm just being frequent with these uploads because I got time to just put into my vision. You got to understand. The long way I made it, the only the only place I put my attention and my focus on is my vision now because but I've taken myself out of, si out of situations where no one helped me, you know what I mean? I already took myself out of them and this is why I rock them, rock them myself so hard. I'm telling you, bro, you got to rock for, your, rock for yourself like you're the last man on earth. You got to make yourself everything in this lifetime, bro. Make yourself something and put the spotlight on you, man. But at this point in my journey, I can't lie, bro. As I said, I'm documenting my journey. I'm at 893 days. Bro, I'm document documenting my journey. You got to understand? You got to understand? I'm documenting it. The whole world needs to know about this, bro. The whole world. Your mum needs to know about this. Your dad. Your grandma. Your whole family. Literally, all of you need to sit in the front room and watch these videos. You're like, what? This guy's really retained for nearly three years. You got to understand? I have nearly retained for three years. The immense discipline I've been through. The immense everything. It has made me 10 times stronger and this is why I thank the Lord because if it weren't for him putting me through all of them situations or like through hell you know what I mean actually the Lord didn't put me through that hell people just put me through the hell but it just made me stronger anyway and my hair's kind of fucked literally I lost my afro comb I had to get a new one so yeah Matt but I can't lie, bro. I'm thinking about females at this point, and what I can just say is, I can't lie, bro. I'm saving my seed for even my potential future wife, bro. You got, you got to save your seed for your potential future wife because you don't want to be out here wasting your seed on all of these random females, all of these fucks out here, all of these bar females at the bars, the clubs, all of this extra stuff. You know what I mean? Like, why would I go for three years, go relapse to a female that don't serve me no purpose? You know what I mean? So I would have just knocked myself off my whole path. Imagine, say this, imagine if I retained for two years and went to go relapse with a female. I could probably feel the frustration with these like YouTubers on these YouTube content creators that retain for like two years, one year. They relapse, oh, make a relapse video. Oh my God, guys, I relapsed. Please, please um, feel sorry for me as well. You know what I mean? These guys are dickheads, bro. They're dickheads because they 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 went for a whole year or two years just to for a, a bitch to make them relapse and drain them and then the, the thing is when when these people relapse they go back to stage one again they go back to the same most time they come all the way they come all the way on their journey losing all them friends that they didn't um that god took out of their life all of them family members all of them situations that they took out of their life and when they relapse with a female, bro, I'm telling you, most people go back to the same lifestyle. You got to understand, bro. They go back to the same lifestyle because they can't maintain the lifestyle. She, Not even a lifestyle, bro. They just can't maintain the the discipline and the... Literally, bro, they can't just maintain the discipline on the journey. And this is why they go back, they revert back to the old ways. You see all these YouTubers. You see how... That's it. Oh. My bad, my niece interrupted me, bro. You got to understand, she interrupted me. That's why I had to like turn around real quick. I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like a ghost to surprising me, bro. But yeah, people revert back to the old ways. You got to understand, like, most people will go back to the same lifestyle where they go back to the same friends that they hang around with, them same friends that are still there, going relapsing, chasing females all day. You got to understand, bro. Most guys in their early 20s and early, like, teen years, uh, like, late teen years are just out here chasing females. And it's giving them all this validation when the only thing they need to do is just put that self work in and females will come to them. But they, they don't know no better, man. They just think they just think that chasing all day is the way and chasing is the way to get the pay. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, shit man. Um As I said, bro, all these guys, all these guys will have all these friends that are relapsing with all these females, they'll be like, oh yeah, bro, I'm telling you. If you get a guy's coming up to you saying that, that they relapse or having SCX, you know what I mean? YouTube friendly, YouTube friendly, ain't trying to get a strike. You know what I mean? 
if if you have friends coming up to you saying that they did all of this extra stuff, just think, just think, just, just look at them and be like, they're a loser, bro. I'm telling you, people that relapse and have all this sex, bro, they're losers, bro. You might think, oh, this guy's gay, some shit, bro. I just take life serious, bro. You got to understand, us retainers take life serious, and that's why we retain our life force. But all of these guys are out here just relapsing and just having sex, bro. You got to understand, bro. These guys look drained all the time. They look drained all the time. They just look depleted, bro. They look depressed, bro. You got to understand, they look down and out. Like, they're, they're ready to just die or some shit, bro. I'm telling you, like, they, they look like they... Bro, they don't look right, bro. I'm telling you, they just look dark. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, these people that always relapse and always is having this busting all over the place, all over their screen, all over a female. You got to understand, bro. You got to understand. These guys just look old. They just look old, wrinkly, and just used up. You know what I mean? Us retainers just look fresh like a baby, and we're ready to go. You got to understand, bro. We're ready to go any time of the day. Us retainers are ready to go any time of the day, bro. But we're disciplined enough that. We only get into small things with females, like a female touches you, then you can go like, you can touch a female and shit, bro, but just never put your shit inside them, bro, you know what I mean? Don't put your shit inside them because you don't need to enter their body to have fun, bro. Literally, you can have fun with many other ways with females. You don't need to put your shit inside them, bro. And that's what always happened in the back of my mind, bro. I don't need to relapse with this female. I can still have fun with her, but I don't need to relapse, you know what I mean? Like, you can kiss and do all of that extra stuff. You don't have to relapse, you know what I mean? On your journey... You can go, you can deal with females, but just don't get serious to the point where you're actually going to do it, bro. You know what I mean? Shit. you got to have some discipline, some some withdrawal, bro. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? You're not going to do it, bro. you got to understand. you got to be like that. Like, you're not going to do it. But yeah, I'm just, I can't lie, bro. At this point, I'm just looking for my future wife. When she comes, God's going to send some nice females into my life. I don't know. God will send females into my life. I don't chase nothing at this point. I just let God send what he sends into my life because at this point I see my attention, God's only going to send me the best of the best, bro, because I've retained for this long for a reason, you know what I mean? So whatever he sends my way, he sends my way. And yeah, and most time I know I like it, bro, because he, God knows what I like, bro. He knows what I like. God knows what everyone likes. So he'll bring the best of the best into my life and... The day when he does, I'll show you. I'll show you the female. You got to dissemble. You got to understand. I will show you. Um. But yeah. Itchy, just save your seed for a female. I'm telling you, save your save, save, save when you're on a long streak. Save your seed for either your future wife or a female that God brings into your life. You know what I mean? When you're on high amounts of days, don't be out here just wasting it. I'm telling you, bro. Because when you keep depleting yourself of all these females out here, I'm telling you, you're going to go back to that same lifestyle that you're living before. <laughs> you're just going to be down and out, but I'm telling you, eventually, you're going to be back to square one Like after all that progress. And this is why I tell you to be looking out for your future wife or some shit, bro. You know what I mean? Don't be doing none of this girlfriend, boyfriend shit. Literally, that's for boys, bro. Girlfriend, boyfriend shit. Because at this point, bro, if I retain for nearly near enough three years, bro, God has to send. I don't know what's gonna happen, bro, but he's either he's gonna send a wife into my life or just a female to stick with me, bro. Literally, he's only gonna send females that that's gonna help me out in my life purpose. Now, he ain't gonna send no one into my life that's just there to just hassle me and just give me headache. You know what I mean? Headache, headache. I don't want no headache, no female or oh, mind games that they play. I don't want to have none of that, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do no shit right now, but I dealt with enough shit already. I'm done dealing with shit, bro. Like, she just want to live a peaceful life and just a great lifestyle. And yeah, you just get to that point. When you come a long way from a place where you're just taking a lot of shit, bro, you don't want to take no shit no more. I just want to live a peaceful lifestyle and just leave the havoc behind. Shit. But yeah. Save your life force, man. Save your life force. And this is only for like the serious guys, but for the serious men out there, bro, save your life force for your queen, the, for the queen that comes into your life. Because you can have fun all day, every day. You got to understand, bro. When you, when you find yourself a wife that hasn't really been like, you know what I mean? That like, when you find yourself a wife that hasn't really been doing like nothing, like hasn't been going about and just messing with all these guys, bro. 
when you've been retaining for a long time and she's been waiting as well, bro, you'll be having it all day, every day, bro. I'm telling you, you'll be, you'll be having fun every day. You've got to understand, you'll be having fun every day. This is what I mean, but I'm going to be having fun for a long time, bro, because I've gone for this long on my journey. So whatever female comes into my place, in my aura, my field, we're going to be having fun together, bro. you got to understand. And God would have sent this girl into my life anyway, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, as I said, bro, God only sends females into my life at this point. There's no hood females, no ghetto, all of these low vibrational females. These females will never be able to come nowhere near me, bro. And they know it as well. They're like, wow, this guy's too much for me, literally. I'm, a, I'm the best of the best and God's only going to send me the best of the best. Shit, man. Because, yeah, why, why am I going to be pain, painting all these females out here? You know what I mean? Giving them all my validation. And then afterwards, they're just going to walk away anyway. Literally, they're just going to walk away, take my seeds, call their friend. Oh, I took this, took, took this guy's seed, literally. That shit's all long, bro. You got to understand, it's all long. And I ain't trying to do none of that. I'm just trying to be on point after my seed retention journey. I'm trying to be on point, bro. I ain't trying to go backwards. You know what I mean? I'm only trying to go forward and... Literally, I'm only trying to make the best choices now. But shit, man. I can't wait. I'm still pumped up for two years. Still pumped up for two years. 1,095 days. Eight, I'm at 893 right now. Still going. And the hard work's still going to be continuing. You got to understand. If I relapse on the way to 1,095 days... I don't know, bro. I, I feel like if I do, bro, I, may, I made it a long way and... I feel great anyway, you know what I mean? I, I feel like I accomplished a lot out of this journey. And I know God, God's, he's, he's looked at me and he's like, wow, I never thought. Actually, God always knew I had this inside me. That's This is why he gave me the insight. But now I know how powerful and strong I am mentally, spiritually and everything physically. But I, I, I don't mind if I actually do relapse and a female does make me relapse. Or, but I do want to make it to three years. And if I do want to do something, but I'm going to do it. Literally, I made it all the way up here. I might as well go for the full way. Stay tuned for the document documentary. Still going. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.